Hello YouTubers and welcome to this uh, little review of the K-Log Pressure 2. So this is an instrument which is done by Instratech and the agents for Instratech are Comtest. So all those details will be down below. Now this little unit is again one of those little Swiss Army knives which can be used on a process control network. And again if, you, if you're not too sure familiar with what a process control network is, I'll add a little annotation over here where I explain what a, a PCN is. Now this tool in particular, what it can do, it obviously calibrates and can troubleshoot issue with uh, pressure sensors on a process control network. So just to give you an idea what the, those sensors look like, we'll have a closer look on the bench but this little device here is the pressure sensor which picks up a pressure obviously through a pipe or what have you and then converts that to a milliamp signal which is sent back goes to a transmitter and then to a control room now on a process control network because there are all those components there are potentially quite a few spots where you can end up with problems that you need to troubleshoot so for one is you've got the pressure sensor measuring obviously some process or pressure in a vessel or pipe that goes to that pressure sensor it, in this case this pressure sensor outputs in milliamps other process control network devices can output a voltage to a transmitter that transmitter then transmits either converts that voltage from a voltage to a current to a control room or in this case it's from a it's in milliamps but it can go to a transmitter and then to the control room which can read the pressure on a display in bar or what have you so there's several pieces along the way which could potentially cause a problem and this device can troubleshoot several of those it can it can simulate the pressure sensor itself so it can send a signal from itself to the transmitter which goes back to the control room it can simulate the transmitter so that it can receive a signal from a pressure sensor you can see what's going on and then it can, tra can transmit that signal back to the control room it can also emulate and act as the receiving uh, machine in the control room itself and it can in, you, in, a, in a tight case if your transmitter is bust you can actually set this up temporarily to act as a transmitter as well. So we'll quickly have a quick look at it on the bench just see its features and functionality in the layout and what have you and we'll uh, put a pump on it and see how it operates. Right, so here we have our little K-Log Pressure 2. Before we have a closer look at that, let's just quickly look at some of the actual quoted uh, specifications about it. It can measure 0 to 24 milliamp, 0 to 32 volts. Uh, the accuracy and, and resolution are quoted here. It's also got a continuity tester as well. It comes with a set of test leads, a lithium ion battery, battery charger and the rubber boot but we'll have a look at that as soon as we uh, have the physical look at it. So here we go, here's the actual device itself and again like the other uh, K-Log instruments that I've had a look at they're in a fairly nice robust package so quite a nice, nice case they come in this rubber boot which this can be slipped out of uh, if need be it does have the SD card slot at the bottom because you can log you can actually trend uh, measurements and then log them to the card it's also got the USB slot over here so you can download directly to a PC it then has the various connections, connections whether you're measuring or simulating a device where you can plug the various wiring in the top here to do that testing. And here is the module where you can plug in a pressure, a pressure module and take the measurements from there. It obviously has a stand on the back as well. And here we go. So in these menus, the, the first main menu which we'll have a look at is the measure one. If we flick in there, you can actually specify whether you're going to be measuring milliamps, volts, continuity, um, pressure, pressure milliamps or a pressure test. So what I'm going to go and do, I'm going to go ahead and actually connect up the pressure sensor itself which is this little device over here and then we'll go through to the measure and see how that works. So right here we go, I've got the pressure sensor connected in the top port over there. I also have the handy thing is it does have this DC input over here which you can use for charging or powering it. So if you were going to use this in that situation where it's actually simulating or replacing a faulty transmitter, then you'd obviously plug in the power so at least it can uh, function operationally without the battery going flat. 
this is a little pump we're going to go down and select pressure we push again it initializes it's reading the information it's actually picked up the information from the pressure sensor itself over there so that's the data from the sensor we push again to continue and then we get to the display and this this is obviously a test situation where you can calibrate or or test the, the uh, make sure the uh, sensor is working correctly with this test pump so if I start pumping you'll see it it's actually registering it's pushing it's showing that the actual sensor itself is working so it's pu putting pressure into the sensor which is then translating that pressure to a milliamp reading and sending it back here so this would be almost simulating what would the, the folks would be seeing in a control room on a on an instrument panel there to make sure that they're getting the correct relevant uh, pressure readings themselves and I'll just quickly step you through the other menus just so you can see what is available so it's got a conversion table to convert between different units. It's obviously got a, a built-in online help facility. You can obviously set the settings like the date and time. It's obviously got the data logging capability. You can measure and source at the same time or source. And if we go into that, that setting, you can actually set a range, enter, and then you can individually go and set values on this keypad over here. So as you can see, it certainly is a little Swiss Army knife in terms of troubleshooting pressure issues on a process control network. All the details for this will be below, so you can, if you're interested in seeing more information on these, then certainly look in the details below the, the video, or go to the Comtest website, because they certainly are the agents for these. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.